Mark McCall here judging the image of beauty and innocence. I've placed a score of 77 on this young lady and I want to congratulate the maker on an above average portrait. Um, beautiful lighting. I mean you did an awesome job on this lighting. The uh, Rembrandt uh, style of lighting is uh, to really show a triangle of light on the far cheek from the main light and I'm going to show that off to you. Boy outstanding job whether this is uh, intended or not great great job on creating that triangle um, the first thing that jumps out at me is the mat the mat is too bright for the theme of the image and I can tell by playing with some colors that you've chosen a color from the background to be your mat but I would have chosen something darker uh, something that doesn't draw my attention out of the center of the image and I've done uh, a little quick color change. Now it's a little more lo lower contrast and really fits more with the feel of the image. Okay, I'm um, gonna address your painter technique, but I want to talk about the eyes before we do. Um, well, now that I've had a chance to really get in there, I can see where you've painted the eyes, but these techniques still work for this type of portrait. So I'm gonna recommend you dodge the back side of the eye. If the main light is coming in from the left, use your dodge tool to bring up the detail in the eye on the opposite side of the main light. And that's going to provide a, a little bit of a separation between the um, iris and the pupil. That might be a little bit overdone, but yeah, look at the difference. Yeah, just by dodging the eye, on the back side of the main light really makes a big difference okay but now your big kicker this is what killed your your score and that is your painter technique I've studied the different paint strokes that you've done throughout the image and our technique seems to be changing all over the place um, we've got one technique being used in one area another technique used in another area um, whether this is hand done or um, whether it's a filter uh, it's it's all over the place so I want to point it out simply because it's going to make a difference if you want to do a lot of portraits and and images later on uh, if you want to use this painter technique I want to be make sure that you're aware of where they're going to ding you in the future okay so let's point those out okay first of all look at the flowers I love the flowing flowers nice soft lines oh great but then we've got these little bitty crunchy areas let's put a little sheet of paper over your image so I can draw on it for you and highlight your problem areas then we shift from a nice soft flowing to these crunchy lines you know and it looks like your brush has changed considerably uh, in this area and then I don't see any painter technique in here at all so I'm, I'm seeing it go all over the place uh, I love the randomness of it through here I love that but then we've got this really odd appearing area right here where the paint just up, appears out of nowhere where we don't see it here we don't see it here uh, if you get my drift let's go back a few steps uh, hopping over to this side now our painter technique starts really changing now we've got these big hen scratches right through here so so far I've pulled out three different styles in the same image uh, I'm gonna look up through here and then we've got more of a um, I'm not gonna call it an overdone technique because I actually love what you've done with the eyes it's it's more of a painted in and it doesn't look real type of white in the eyes so the only um, advice I have for you there uh, is don't apply it quite so heavily we want at least a little bit of photorealism in there because if it's not if you're going full-on painter it hasn't been carried throughout the image uh, I'm hoping that makes sense we just seem to be all over the place in our painter technique um, I love the randomness of it through here I love that um, but then we've got the nice soft through here uh, so far like I said seeing three different types of of techniques and uh, I love this look through here uh, it just doesn't fit with the other two styles of painter so 
That being said, if painter is really the angle you want to take with this image, find a theme and stick with it. You know, let's avoid jumping all over the place with our techniques, and I think that's going to make your score uh, higher. Now, that being said, you know, you might consider not painting this image at all because the young lady is beautiful, it's simple. Um, I, I can see this image meriting very well without all of the painter technique. So um, be advised, you know, if, if you want to shoot this image to me on Facebook or look me up, Mark McCall, I'll be happy to, to uh, look at it for you in Photoshop. Um, but I just think this painter technique is holding your score down and at the next level, uh, if you get a painter artist on that panel, they're going to be really tough on it. So uh, I hope all of that helps, and good luck in your future pieces.